So here's my uh, rainy day project for today. This is my 1890s telegraph sounder. I got off eBay for a steal. I paid about uh, 30 bucks for it. And uh, that's my cat meowing in the background. Uh, quiet on the set, please. Um, there's a few missing parts, but it's about 95% complete. Uh, it's a rather small, uh, uh, not as stout as some of the other ones. Uh, what I had to do today is uh, go over to Osh and uh, look through about a thousand different springs and get one of these little um, lightweight pull springs fixes into there over here. This is simply just a relay switch, but that's how it worked. I got it wired in <clears throat> to uh, just a cheapy telegraph key. Um, I power it with five volts. I'm sure everyone has a couple hundred of these uh, cell phone uh, chargers. They are five volts, by the way. Plug them in and uh, do what you like with them. Just be careful. <laughs> so anyhow, um, it's just a simple switch on and off. And this relay uh, does the speaking. So, you know, um, the thing that's different about this is, you know, with the International Morse Code on radios, you got dashes and dits. You can hear that um, distinguishably rather easily. But um, with a telegraph, it's a little different because a dash is and a dit. So you're listening to both the um, actuation of it going on and off, the difference is that you're listening for the space in between. So it, it's a little tricky. Um, people who can actually read uh, from telegraphs, it's, it's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. But uh, anyhow, um, so like if you were to call out and throw my call sign out, it would sound like this. And one more time. So that's my little toy. Um, I actually have... Um, a wire that runs all the way up along my bookshelf goes to the other side of the room um, so I can operate it from a distance should I desire. Anyhow, that's my toy for the weekend. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later.